order build it yourself came for kit from ms planet two weeks later kit arrives everything looks to be there start assembly everything's going according to instruction get to arms hold on a fucking minute both thumbs are facing the same direction they sent me a kit with two fucking left arms email ms planet they won't take back the kit since i've already opened it never how would i have known there was something wrong if i didn't Options are either to spend almost as much as I spent on the entire suit to have a right arm custom fabricated, or have an MS that can't hold any of the weapons it came with other than the beam saber. Never buy anything from these fuckers again. Should we speed up our cylinder spin so everything will be heavier? Imagine the sick gains we will get. I sure hope we don't get dropped on some poor planet by some war criminal. I own a beam magnum for home defense since that's what the Universal Century Charter intended. Four unidentified fast movers breach the Magellanica defensive perimeter. Even so, as I board my silver bullet suppressor and grab the beam magnum, blow a train sized hole in the first mobile suit. It explodes on the spot. Fire again on the second mobile suit. Miss him entirely because the recoil broke the arm, and it nails a friendly buck you. I have to resort to the Mega Bazooka launcher mounted on the top of the Garanisiers, loaded with the Banshee's old reactor. Sword demo, lads! The Mega Particles shred two suits in the blast. The residuals set off proximity warnings all over side three. Draw my beam saber and charge the last terrified Gundam frame. He cooks to death in his cockpit, waiting on the Federation to arrive because nanolaminate armor doesn't stop heat buildup, just as the Universal Century Charter intended. Off topic, but there's a VR chat world with a fully traversable O'Neill cylinder called Island 4. Walking around it in VR is absolutely awe-inspiring. Imagine how cool an open-world game set on one of these could be. Live in the far future where O'Neill Cylinder are finally a reality. Still don't have high fidelity video game with physics worth a shit. It's a dream, right? I'm not actually in an O'Neill colony, just some deluded kid on a message board, forever grounded on Earth. Three words in on state enforced retrofuturism. Will you n***er stop shooting your las guns randomly in the air? You're not in your fucking homestead in Europa anymore, you retards. I hate fart farmers so goddamn much. I just woke up only to realize I have to file my fourth insurance claim this cycle because another idiot starfarer wannabe faced his gremlin into my fucking kitchen. I fucking hate living on Ackerman Station. Seriously, why the hell doesn't the colony spin ever get factored in sci-fi? You ought to see some crazy Coriolis effect shit. Classic O'Neill cylinder size is 8 kilometers diameter and 32 kilometers length, meaning a spin of 2.8 degrees per second to simulate 1.0 gravity. The tangential velocity at the surface would be around 200 meters a second. Not insignificant compared to a typical speeding bullet. You didn't hear this from me, but I got wind of a Gundam being developed in the colony. Fucking retard. We're neutral. Sure you fucking space monkeys.